It's Todd About Town, Todd Walker, entertainment, travel, and more. Hey Todd, what's new? Welcome back to Piney's Haberdashery and another episode of Todd About Town. And yes, it is January and I still am doing dry January. And Anthony from Jaime's Haberdashery, the proprietor of the of the great, great clothing store, uh, thought I might be a little bit thirsty today. So he brought me this amazing drink r from right down the hall at a great restaurant in St. Paul called the Loon Cafe. Yes, there's one downtown Minneapolis as well. But it's a non-alcoholic beverage. And you know, everybody seems to be doing these now. But he assured me this is going to be one of the best. It's called the Bootleg. Let me tell you what's in it. It's pure organic, gin or vodka, if you choose, you can do that, but you don't need it. Fresh squeezed lemon, lime, and orange juice, fresh mint, simple syrup, egg white, and soda water. Let's give this a shot. That is really, really good. And I'm being totally serious. I don't think there's any reason you need vodka or gin in it. That is delicious, man. Bootlegger right here. All right, so we're going to talk about some of the great things that are going on all around the Twin Cities. Some of them for you people that are doing dry January. And if some of you want to get out and say, you know what, dry January isn't for me, I've got options for you as well. So to start with, we're going to go over to Minneapolis and to Lake Harriet, where it's the Art Shanty Project. Now, last year, this was put on hold, obviously because of the pandemic, but it is back. If you've never been, it's super interesting. Let me describe it to you this way. They have all these different huts. These, like, Think of large fish houses that they bring out onto Lake Harriet. And the, the artists are commissioned to come out and design these different, amazing different displays on the fish houses. And then you can go by, in the past you could go inside the fish houses or these shanties, but you look at all these great art installations. It's totally free. It opens January 15th and it runs through February 6th. And once again, that's called the Art Shanty Project. For my fellow dry January people, I think this is a great, great option to get out, breathe some fresh air, and look at some wonderful art. Now for the people that aren't doing dry January and that would perhaps be putting gin or vodka in this drink, I'm going to talk a little bit about O'Shaughnessy Distillery. This is a really, really great place. Two local guys, their cousins, their O'Shaughnessy's, have been working for years to build this distillery. And the distillery is right over by Malcolm Yards, right over by Surly Brewery, and they have fantastic dinners. They have a cocktail menu that is unbelievable. They also have non-alcoholic drinks, and you can go for a tour of the distillery. This building in itself is remarkable to look at. The design elements, the structure is like nothing else we have in the Twin Cities, or for that fact, that I've seen around the uh, state of Minnesota. It's really worth seeing. And once again, that's O'Shaughnessy Distillery uh, right, over by King, uh, right over by Malcolm Yards. All right, so moving along here, I want to talk to you about one of our St. Paul favorites that is doing a grand reopening. And this is the Grand Mill. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Green Mill, which is right on the corner of Grand and Hamlin Avenue in St. Paul. It's been there since, I think, 1975. And they thought it was time for a refresh. Yeah, since 1975, it probably is. Well, I went in there. It's beautiful. They've completely changed it. They have a wonderful little Italian market that you can go in for grab-and-go items. And then you, inside the bar, they've opened it up to give it a much more fresher feeling. And they also have a beautiful area in the back for banquets. Well, why am I sharing this with you? That on Saturday night, if you want to check it out, you can go in and completely free of charge, they're going to have music. Tim Mahoney, who was on The Voice, is going to be one of the performers. He starts at 6.30, and they're going to have uh, free small bites that you can try, different appetizers. And believe it or not, they're also going to be uh, giving out some drink tickets for free beers and free wine. So this is a fun night at the Green Mill on Grand and Hamlin, completely free, and music drinks, and of course, great appetizers as well. So go support a local business, and that would be the Green Mill. Okay, if you want to get outside and you're going to embrace the bold north, head over to our friends who live over on the other side of town a little bit, and this is the Ice Castle, which is in Long Lake. 
And this is a huge structure that they continue to pour water on to make the ice get larger and larger and larger. And it's stunning. It's beautiful. They have a light show that goes on all around the ice castle as well. General admission is $12.00. Is $22, I'm sorry, and $16 for adults. Let's go through that general admission again. General admission is 12 and under, is $16, and $22 for adults. So go and check that out. And once again, that is happening in Long Lake at, in New Brighton area, and it's at their park out there. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, display of ice. Okay, this one is kind of interesting and new. I've never done this, and I challenge you to go out and take, uh, take some time in this sauna and tell me what you think of it. This is Stokeyard Outfitters Sauna and Cold Plunge. Let's say that again. Stokeyard Outfitters, it's the name of the company, and it's Sonas and Cold Plunge. So they have two different locations. One is in the Hewing Hotel, downtown Minneapolis, and the other one is right in the 35th and Hennepin area in Minneapolis. So what do you do? You go and you rent some time in the sauna with some of your friends, and then they have a cold plunge. So you go out, you in the cold plunge, then you rush inside like they do in uh, Finland, which I've been to, and this is exactly what they do. Then you rush inside, hang out with your friends in the sauna, and then you go back and forth and you do the cold plunging. So it's kind of something, it's brand new, it's something they're bringing to the Twin Cities, and it is, of course, a cost, and if you do the one on 35th and Hennepin, it's $35 for an hour and a half. And if you go downtown Minneapolis to the Hewing, it is $65 for two hours. Sounds like a great experience and something for us to go out and embrace the bold north once again. Now, I saw a show last night that I need to share with you because you absolutely, once you're done watching this video, need to go online and buy tickets. It's called Come From Away. And this is at the Orpheum, downtown Minneapolis. And the story is about 7,000 passengers that were in the air on flights, 38 different planes, that then were rerouted routed to Newfoundland because they had no place to land. So 7,000 passengers all of a sudden end up on this island and how they interact with the people and the locals. It is a fantastic show. Uh, probably, I'm going to go out and say it's probably one of the top three shows I've seen in the last 20 plus years. And there's humor, there's heart warming moments, and it talks all about how these people from different cultures all merge together and what life is like for them. And it's a happy ending, and it's a show you absolutely must see. It was a Tony Award winning show um, on Broadway, and it's won different show uh, awards all around the United States. And once again, it is probably one of the, my favorite shows that I've seen. This show runs through the 23rd of January. Tickets start at $40 and go up to $146, and it's not to be missed. All right, cheers to dry January and me continuing through January 31st. And this bootlegger from the loon, go check it out.